Nebraska Science Festival is underway. There's events this month to help you explore science. Yeah, so today Matt Story is going to show us a fun experiment you can do with the kids at home. Today's experiment is how to make a cloud in a jar. Now, here are the things that you will need to make this happen. You will need a glass jar with a metal lid, or if you don't have the lid, you could use a metal pie tin as well. You need a glass of ice. You need water that is really hot, it doesn't need to be boiling, and you also need matches or hairspray. That can also be used for this part. So the first thing you do is you add the warm water to the jar. You want to fill it about a quarter of the way up and maybe swish it around. Gets the jar nice and warm. And what this does, it creates water vapor that's rising toward the top of the jar. The next thing you do is you put the lid or the pie tin on top of the jar and you put ice in the lid. Now what this does, it mimics our atmosphere where we have water vapor rising up and it's much colder higher up in the sky and that creates condensation when the water vapor gets to that colder temperature. Notice how that we don't have a cloud. What we need is something for the cloud droplets to form on and that's where the matches come into play. Now, Take, after about 20 to 30 seconds, you take the jar lid with the ice off the top, light a match, or again, this is where you could use hairspray. You could spray it inside the jar. Put it inside, blow it out, let the smoke get in there for a little bit, and then put the jar lid with the ice back on top. And what's happening here is that air is still rising from the hot water, and as it hits the colder temperatures near the top of the jar, it's forming cloud droplets on those little smoke particles that needed something to form. They're called cloud condensation. 